Hello, welcome to Cardboard and Plastic. This video is my CSG reveal. I sent this on June 9th and they shipped it off on July 14th. It took about two weeks to get here with USPS registered mail. So if you ever do use CSG, USPS, it takes a long time to get back. And I'm gonna go over my submission. I'm gonna do two parts to this. The first part, the first 25 cards, the next 25 cards. And I'll go over also some of the things like the cost, how much I paid for the cards, and uh, the pre-grades. I did do a video of that, and we can see how close to the grades I am. I never used CSG before. And there is one disappointment. If you actually see the little bubble wrap there for the second card, I thought that the 1941 Giorgio Maggio authentic, but I didn't put... They say, like, you can put down somewhere... Uh, slap if authentic. I didn't see anything like that, so I don't know what I did wrong. So we're going to take a look at that card. And I'm going to go over my little sheet here. So these are my pre-grades. And mark down what I got. And I got my CSG pen to put down the official grades. So the first card is a T206. There is standing on it. And I said originally a two to three grade. I was off. I didn't notice this until afterwards. And I did, I haven't looked at the cards yet in the slabs, but I did check the grades out for CSG and some of the images I did see, however, some of the images I couldn't see uh, because they didn't put them on the registry yet. I'm hoping they actually um, just forgot to do it and didn't forget to take the images, which I don't want to send the cards back. But this one I set a two to three and it got a CSG one and it is valid. There is paper loss right here, but this is a really nice one. There's no paper loss on the back. Um, this paper loss was evident on the video, but I have a picture without it and just take these things in and out of sleeves to get ready for grading with these cards that are over 100 years old. Things like that, I guess, happen. So that one I'm off. The second card. Now, good and bad news. The bad news is they didn't slap out one of them to slap it authentic. The good news, though, is it didn't come back as questionable authenticity. It came back as trim alteration. And this is like at the top, I think I said in the video, there was a part of the card that had some issues. So, I think somebody tried to erase it. Oh, you can actually see that there. So, I think somebody wrote on it, and then they tried to get rid of it by erasing it and things like that. I just want this slab authentic. I think I'm going to send this to SGC. They'll. That's one thing I don't like about CSG with this, is I just wanted this in a case. So, for the 1080, they keep their grading fee, but they don't put it into the case. So, upset. Now, the cool thing about this, though, is they marked it here, right? Uh, surface erased, which is perfect. And see, um, this card I bought for 450. I mean, it's an original Joe DiMaggio. Uh, the person that originally had it with Beckett, it was the same thing. Is they circled this part? They didn't. Uh, so possible tampering. So I am going to send this to. I think. I want this in an SGC slab, so I'm going to send this off to SGC, and they will probably give it a SGC authentic altered in their new label. So be a good way to test that out. So I'm going to, eh, it is authentic. <laughs> um, the next card is a 1952 Yogi Berra. And 
I paid $52.70 from this from eBay, and I expected a three, and it did get a two. There are a bunch of surface wrinkles on it, but it does present very nice. And it does have the plastic sleeve. Now, I'll get into some issues with the plastic sleeves. If you have a smaller card, they have to do this. But I also got some cards that were slabbed in plastic sleeves. So that's expected. I said three, but I got a two. Happy about that, though. It looks nice in the slab, and I paid $52.70. And it cost $12.50 for the grading, $10.80 for the grading, and the shipping back and forth adds up. So $12.50, so I paid basically $65 for that card, and it's probably worth about $100. So almost every single card I have here probably made money by me slabbing it, except for a few, which we'll get into. This card I paid $157.25 with tax and shipping from eBay. This is one of my favorite cards that I got recently. And it got a 4.5. That's a beautiful card, centered. Love the slabs, feel real nice. So I said a 4 to 5, or a 4, so 4.5. And you'll see the grades are pretty much spot on. Roger Maris. This one was pretty center. I said three to four. Some surface issues. And it got a four. So again, looks real nice in the slab. A bit on the high side. I probably would have graded a little bit lower. And I paid $20 for that card. So, I mean, they're going for about $40 in that shape, so basically break even. This Jim Cat I bought before I got in the Hall of Fame, I bought it for $10. And I just want it in a slab. I said about a 4. And this card got a 3.5. But a Hall of Fame rookie goes to my PC collection. Uh, this card and a bu bunch of these I have here, it says like lot. I bought these cards in lots and they probably already made their money back because I bought them in 2020 when vintage was not so popular. Now it is. So this is my only 1961 card that I thought was gradable. And I said a five. And it got a 6.5. I mean, it's a really nice copy uh, for this. I was probably with the grades thinking more of like SGC. And the majority of cards, I think, got a little bit higher than I expected. A lot of the same. There was a few cards that were lower. We'll get into those. This is a Nelly Fox, and I said a 7. And this card was absolutely beautiful. 1962 tops, perfectly centered. I bought this on eBay for $7, or sorry, Com C for $7. I saw it just looked beautiful, I had had it. And this is one of the highest pop, uh, this is the highest pop there on CSG uh, for this card. And it got an 8.5 for 1962, which is remarkable. Um, I don't know the value of this, um, I mean, this is perfectly centered. You can't really find 1962 Topps cards like this. I think PSA 8 sold for like three, $350 recently. Um, I don't know if I want to sell there or not. I might put it up in eBay for $300, see if anybody wants that. Um, this one I got in a lot as well, the Rookie Stars. Tony Leva rookie. So I said three. And I got a four. Um, pretty rough corners. I mean, this, if at SGC, I probably think it would be a three. So 8.5. I 
then we got a fork. Roberto Clemente, I said a one for this. And the problem was there was like somebody that you could see there's like a couple like a pinhole through it. Looks like somebody stabbed the card a few times, but it presents nice. And I said a one and it got a one. It's a nice card, but you can definitely see some of the surface damage here. I did pay $54 for this and a lot, um, but you know, you lose some, win some. I think it like basically break even with this card. People still want these, but I did get a card in the same lot that I estimated I paid like $50 for that and $20 for another card later on, which came out ahead. So that one was spot on. Juan Marichal, I said a five. And it got a 6.5. So a lot of these, like 1963 tops, I mean, they were, I picked the best of them, but I mean, I had a rough corner. I think this is a tad overgraded, in my opinion. And from my grading experience and looking at the grades, it seems that CSG is a little bit lenient if you have one bad corner or the corners are in great shape. So, but they're pretty tough on centering and the eye peel, like SGC, but they do allow some corner issues. Brooks Robinson, I said a six. And that's exactly what I got. Uh, next one, A L K line. I set a seven. Kind of got scratched off here, so I don't know if they took off for that. Got a little bit lower than I expected. Nicely centered card, though. Can't really complain about these. Six point five. Uh, next one is uh, Gaylord Perry. I said a seven. And this is a 1965. That's a great grade for this card. It was a beautiful card. So 1965 with an eight on that. So a little bit above, but that card deserved a high grade. 1965, I got Roger Maris. I set a three. And there was some, like, a little stain, some corner issues, some creasing, mild. Got a 3.5, kind of what I expected. Um... The next one is a 1965 Warren Spawn, a six. I got this off of Com C for four dollars. It's a nice card. In Com C, I've been doing pretty good, so got a six point five, which is fair with the centering on that card. That's a real nice card. Uh, Tom Seaver, 1968. I bought it for $37 from Com C. I set a five on it, and I did like this card because of the center. And it got a 5.5. So again, kind of where the grades I expect them to be. 1972 Hank Aaron, I bought this for $32. Oh, probably a little bit more than that. I think it's like $36 I got that off of eBay. I set a four. It had one bad corner. This is kind of my experience with CSG there. Even if you have one really bad corner like that, you got a six. 
which I don't think that should have got a six. That corner's pretty messed up. Again, this is for my PC. I'll show you my Hank Aaron PC. I'm trying to get all the space cards. The rookie I still have to get. But that was one of the few cards that was way overgraded. I mean, everything else is perfect on the card, but just has that one bad corner. Um, 1974 Dave Winfield. I bought this off of Com C for that's not a mistake. I bought it for $13.99. So this was an absolute steal. And I got it and it looked great. And I was kind of shocked. So this card I said it was a six, and it got a 7.5. Now the one thing that sucks about this, if you actually see, for some reason, some of these cards. Like this, there's no plastic sleeve for a standard size card. This one has a stupid sleeve in it. So I don't know why, but some of the cards do. But got a 7.5, can't complain. And now, these were the best ones I had. I had two sevens. So I was like trying to figure out which one to keep. Oh, now I get to sell both or trade both of these and keep the CSG one. Um, these will go for much more money than the other card. I think the card's just a little bit nicer. So they're all about equivalent. I was a little bit harsh in some of my pre-grades, but those will both be traded. All these I got raw too, so you could still get decently raw cards on ComC and eBay if you look around. Uh, 1977 Bruce Sutter. I got this off of eBay shipped to me. I, got, I bought it for $8. Came out to $12.20 with tax. And I said a 8. This is my last card for my 1970s Hall of Fame PC. A little disappointed with this grade. Got a 7.5. Wanted an 8 or higher for this one. It's a nice card. Some print defects and things like that. Can't complain too much. And the last card on this sheet is the 1978 Rookie Pitchers. I paid a buck fifty for this card. I said an eight. And it got an eight. And the centering is awesome on this card. And this one is my PSA one. This one I'm going to be trading and keeping this for my Hall of Fame PC. So... Try to focus there. But I think most of these cards graded how I wanted them to grade. A couple of here or there. Missed out. Um, now, I didn't get a great deal on the 1963 Clemente. Didn't see the issues with it um, until I got it in my hand. I paid 50 for that, but I paid 20 for this. So it works out at the end. This is a... 1979 Ozzy Smith rookie. I paid twenty dollars for this. I set a six, and I got a six point five. Now I'm going to go over these and see which one I want to keep. I have a PSA seven. I mean they're basically pretty identical. Maybe a little bit better top to center centering on the PSA seven. But if I could sell this one for hundred fifty or trade it. Just keep this for my PC and add more to my PC. I think that's the way I'm going to go. And got three more cards. Um, these are pretty cheap ones. Uh, 1981. Future Stars. 
I either paid two eighty five or a dollar for this card. I bought two of them. One of them, somebody was just giving away for a dollar. You know, it's beautiful. The other one, I skimmed through Com C, and I found another one for two eighty five. Just wanted this graded, and I said an eight, and it got a nine. So nice centering on this card. So definitely for my PC, gonna keep that one. And I have the other card that's either a dollar or two eighty five. In my next CSG shipment, which there's a backlog now. I think a lot of people are trying to get the cards in for the ten eighty or the twelve dollars. If you don't have the membership before uh, July fourth, I forgot the cutoff date, but with the uh, increase in pricing a lot of people put stuff in so now it's a big backlog so i'm not expecting my next shipment for at least another month or two and the last two are harold baines i set a seven for the tops and it got an eight my centering on it And for the first half of this video, for the first video out of the two, I'll do the next 25 cards, the next video. Harold Baines, I set an eight for this. And it got an eight. So nice to add those for my PC. So really for the grades that I had, the majority were pretty much spot on. A few above, a few below, but nothing too crazy. The only cards that I think were overgraded were um, specifically that 1972 Hank Aaron, which got a 6 instead of... It should be a 4 or 5 with that horrible corner. So thank you for watching, and I will also put out part two of this video right afterwards.